Egzamin maturalny z języka angielskiego. Arkusz pierwszy. Rozumienie ze słuchu. Poziom podstawowy. Wysłuchaj dokładnie informacji dotyczących tej części egzaminu. Rozumienie ze słuchu składa się z dwóch zadań. Zadania te sprawdzają umiejętność rozumienia wypowiedzi rodzimych użytkowników języka angielskiego. Usłyszysz nagranie, które zawiera zarówno teksty, jak i polecenia do poszczególnych zadań. Każdy tekst zostanie odtworzony dwa razy. Na płycie przewidziane są przerwy na zapoznanie się z treścią zadań oraz ich rozwiązanie sygnalizowane dźwiękiem Przed wysłuchaniem każdego tekstu usłyszysz natomiast dźwięk. Rozwiązuj poszczególne zadania zgodnie z usłyszanymi poleceniami w trakcie słuchania tekstów oraz w trakcie trwania przerw po ich wysłuchaniu. Zadanie pierwsze. Zapoznaj się ze zdaniami podanymi poniżej. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie wypowiedź na temat robienia zakupów w różnych miejscach w Londynie. Z podanych odpowiedzi wybierz właściwą, zgodną z treścią tekstu. Zaznacz jedną z trzech możliwości, zakreślając literę A, B lub C. Za każdą poprawną odpowiedź otrzymasz jeden punkt. When I visit London, one of my favourite things to do is shopping. I really enjoy hunting around for interesting things in the sales, buying something new to wear out on a Saturday night, or a bit of window shopping. It doesn't cost a penny. Sometimes I'll spend hours just walking around a market having a chat with my friends. There are lots of different places to go shopping in London. If you're looking for high street shops, the kind of shops you find in most towns, you can go to Oxford Street. But it gets too busy sometimes. It can be difficult to get anywhere. For a less crowded, more relaxing shopping experience, go to Covent Garden. You can have an expensive cappuccino and watch some free street theatre at the same time. Some people like shopping in department stores. The most famous one in London is Harrods in Knightsbridge. But for me, it's not modern enough and too expensive 
the sort of place your parents do their shopping. The best of all the big department stores is Selfridges in Oxford Street. It's a shopper's paradise. Nice clothes, but very high prices. Well, I can look, can't I? For the day out walking around a market experience, try Camden. It's exciting, fashionable, and there are lots of lovely things at attractive prices. You can buy cheap jeans and cool second-hand clothes in the morning and then get a tattoo and a body piercing later on. If all that shopping is too tiring, you can get some Chinese or Thai food for two or three pounds. Sit by the canal and drink a beer. What could be better? If you think you need to experience more of London's culture, you might prefer a trip to Greenwich. This is a much more relaxing day out. You can have a walk round the market and shops and then take in a bit of London's history. It was the birthplace of Henry VIII, Queen Mary and Elizabeth I. There's also the park, the Cutty Sark, an old ship that was used for transporting tea, and the old observatory. So much to do, but don't forget the shopping. Wysłuchaj jeszcze raz tekstu do zadania pierwszego. When I visit London, one of my favorite things to do is shopping. I really enjoy hunting around for interesting things in the sales, buying something new to wear out on a Saturday night, or a bit of window shopping. It doesn't cost a penny. Sometimes I'll spend hours just walking around a market, having a chat with my friends. There are lots of different places to go shopping in London. If you're looking for high street shops, the kind of shops you find in most towns, you can go to Oxford Street. But it gets too busy sometimes. It can be difficult to get anywhere. For a less crowded, more relaxing shopping experience, go to Covent Garden. You can have an expensive cappuccino and watch some free street theatre at the same time. Some people like shopping in department stores. The most famous one in London is Harrods in Knightsbridge. But for me, it's not modern enough and too expensive, the sort of place your parents do their shopping. The best of all the big department stores is Selfridges in Oxford Street. It's a shopper's paradise. Nice clothes, but very high prices. Well, I can look, can't I? For the day out walking around a market experience, try Camden. It's exciting, fashionable, and there are lots of lovely things at attractive prices. You can buy cheap jeans and cool second-hand clothes in the morning and then get a tattoo and a body piercing later on. If all that shopping is too tiring, you can get some Chinese or Thai food for two or three pounds. Sit by the canal and drink a beer. What could be better? If you think you need to experience more of London's culture, you might prefer a trip to Greenwich. This is a much more relaxing day out. You can have a walk round the market and shops and then take in a bit of London's history. It was the birthplace of Henry VIII, Queen Mary and Elizabeth I. There's also the park, the Cutty Sark, an old ship that was used for transporting tea, 
and the old observatory. So much to do, but don't forget the shopping. Przenieś rozwiązanie na kartę odpowiedzi. Zadanie drugie. Zapoznaj się ze zdaniami podanymi w tabeli. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie prognozę pogody. Zdecyduj, które zdania są zgodne z treścią tekstu. True. A które nie. False. Zaznacz znakiem X odpowiednią rubrykę w tabeli. Za każdą poprawną odpowiedź otrzymasz jeden punkt. And now the weather forecast for today and tomorrow. Today, the morning will be cloudy in most parts of the country, with some rain at first. Many places will then become dry and bright, but there'll be more showers across Scotland. The south wind may be very strong at first, but it will become more gentle in the afternoon. Rather chilly, with temperatures around 15 degrees Celsius. In the evening, most places will be dry and clear, especially in the south of England. Clouds and rain will be reaching some other parts of the UK overnight. There'll be heavy rain across Scotland with snow in the mountains. During the night, temperatures may fall below zero degrees Celsius in the far north. Tomorrow, it will be mostly dry and sunny across England and Wales, with some fog in the morning. Scotland will start cloudy, but it'll get much brighter during the day. Still rather windy, but it'll be much warmer temperatures reaching 20 degrees Celsius. The weekend is going to be nice and dry, with lots of sunshine and a warm breeze from the south.
Wysłuchaj jeszcze raz tekstu do zadania drugiego. And now the weather forecast for today and tomorrow. Today the morning will be cloudy in most parts of the country, with some rain at first. Many places will then become dry and bright, but there'll be more showers across Scotland. The south wind may be very strong at first, but it will become more gentle in the afternoon. Rather chilly, with temperatures around 15 degrees Celsius. In the evening, most places will be dry and clear, especially in the south of England. Clouds and rain will be reaching some other parts of the UK overnight. There'll be heavy rain across Scotland with snow in the mountains. During the night, temperatures may fall below zero degrees Celsius in the far north. Tomorrow, it will be mostly dry and sunny across England and Wales, with some fog in the morning. Scotland will start cloudy, but it'll get much brighter during the day. Still rather windy, but it'll be much warmer, temperatures reaching 20 degrees Celsius. The weekend is going to be nice and dry, with lots of sunshine and a warm breeze from the south. Przenieś rozwiązanie na kartę odpowiedzi. Czas przeznaczony na tę część egzaminu minął. Sprawdź, czy wszystkie rozwiązania zostały przeniesione na kartę odpowiedzi. Następnie przystąp do wykonywania pozostałych zadań.